Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential, a logarithmic, I don't know what to call this, maybe a non-standard equation. We have an exponential function on the left and a logarithmic ratio on the right. So let's see how we can handle this problem. This kind of looks complicated as is, but we're going to simplify it. And I'll be presenting two methods. I'm also going to show you a graph. Uh, and how these two functions interact. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, I want to tell you that there was a different version of this problem that, that I thought about, and then I realized there are no real solutions for that. So that was e to the x equals log x over ln x, and this doesn't have any real solutions. You can think about why it wouldn't have any real solutions, and we'll actually get to that uh, a little later after we look at this problem. Okay? Cool. Let's go ahead and start with the first method. Since this is a non-standard problem, we can't use a standard approach. If you had a logarithmic equation on, let's say, logs on both sides, you could do something about it. Or if you had different bases, you could use change of base. Wait a minute, did I say change of base? Maybe we can use that. Okay, anyways, so if you had an exponential equation, you could use logs and so on and so forth. But this has both. So what do we do? Exactly what I just said. We're going to be using change of base. So let's talk about change of base first a little bit with some examples maybe, and then I'll show you how to apply it in two different ways. So. When you have something like log A with base B, then, and let's say you want to change it to a different base. My base is B currently, but I want to write this expression in base C. Then I can actually make up a quotient like this with base C in both. And then A goes here and B goes here. Let me show you with arrows where they go so you can kind of hopefully remember this. So you basically come up with a base and then just move the A's and B's and you're all done. Make sense? This is called change of base and you can prove it by using exponents, so on and so forth, but it's a very helpful formula. A lot of times if you want to simplify stuff, you can use it. And a lot of times I will, I'd like to work with uh, natural log, so which is ln, by the way, this one, and this will be base 10, in my notation at least. Uh, some people write uh, mean, uh, natural log with this, some textbooks even. Anyways, uh, so we can basically use this formula. It's very helpful and what I did with, uh, with some of the problems is uh, change everything into ln. That's what makes it easier. So for example, if I have an equation with base, uh, like different bases, then I can express both of these as ln and then things will be better. Make sense? And in this case, you kind of have to do it because you can't combine these two expressions if their bases are different. Just like you can't multiply two exponentials if their bases are different, right? Pretty much. Okay, so here's what we're going to do then. And also, we need to talk about which direction. In which direction you're going to use this formula because you can use it in both directions, okay? In this case, we're going to use it in this direction. So I'm going to go ahead and take log x and change it into ln. So let's do it. e to the x minus 2 equals log x over ln x. Now log x is base 10. I'm going to write it as ln, which is e, base e. I'm not writing it, but it just means ln. If you want, I can write it. Let's just write it to be, make it more clear. Log base e, log base e. And then x goes here and 10 goes here. So this is basically the same thing as ln x over ln 10. Instead of writing the base every time, it's a lot easier to write ln. Okay, now we're going to replace, and this is log x without the base, okay? Let's go ahead and make the replacements. So we're going to replace log x with this, and that's going to give us e to the power x minus 2 equals ln x over ln 10 divided by ln x. We know that x cannot be 1, right? Oh, come on. If x is 1, this is going to be undefined or indeterminate or whatever. So we can safely say that x does not equal 1. And we also have to say x is positive, right? So now ln x cancels out, and we end up with 1 over ln 10. Now, remember I told you, if we had e to the power x equals this, 
then this equation would not have any solution. Let me tell you why real quick. Now, ln 10 is actually going to be something that is, let's think about it. ln 10 is going to be greater than ln e squared, which is going to be greater than 2. So anyways, let's, let's just do the following. I think this is going to uh, be a better explanation. I don't think I made a good uh, approach for this. But if you ln both sides, you're going to get this, right? And then from here, x is going to be ln 1 over ln 10. OK? So here's what happens. x here is a negative value. Why? Because 1 over ln 10 is less than 1. And if you think about the graph of ln x, if x value is less than 1, then its ln is going to be less than 0. So this is a negative quantity. And if x is negative, it's problematic because remember what we said, x must be positive for these functions to be, I mean for these, to be well defined. So this equation doesn't have any solutions. But the x minus 2 overcomes that issue. So let's continue from there e to the power x minus 2 is equal to 1 over ln 10. Now we're going to go ahead and ln both sides. It's ln both sides. And now we're going to get this. x minus 2 equals ln 1 over ln 10. And if you add 2 to both sides, you're going to get the answer. We're going to look at the graph at the end so you can see the numerical value on the graph. And the second method basically pretty much uses the same idea, but instead Instead of changing the log, it changes the ln. So what I can do with this is I can just take this ln and write it as log x over log 10. Log x cancels out. From here, we get e to the power x minus 2 equals log 10. And then log both sides, you're going to get log x minus 2 times log e equals log 10. And then what's going to happen actually log log 10, I should say. And then you can divide both sides by log e and then add 2 to both sides and you'll get the same answer pretty much. Make sense? Okay, so basically that's how you can solve this kind of problem. So anytime you see a quotient, a ratio of two different expressions with the same argument. So what I mean by argument is this. This is the argument, right, for this function. When arguments are the same, you can actually use change of base and this actually becomes a constant. When I check the graph of this you're going to realize what that looks like. Here we go. Let's take a look. The graph of y equals log x over ln x is actually a horizontal line but it only appears on the positive side of the x-axis because x must be positive. Remember that and also we do have the restriction that x cannot equal 1. Unfortunately Desmos doesn't give us a open dot. Unfortunately not yet maybe. Uh, so that's why you see a half line as the graph. But they do intersect. Notice that in the negative section, there's no intersection points. And this would be our x value if you use ln. And log is similar. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.